Hi, Cheryl here, and today I'm going to show you how to make the Galaxy Bracelet. And I'm going to show you how to make the bracelet on two forks today. I have one here that's almost finished, so I can show you how to take it off of the forks. And I'm going to grab a couple forks here to show you how to get started with this. I put my forks together with a couple rubber bands. You can also use some clear tape to do this, whatever works best for you, to put your forks together back to back. Let me grab some bands over here so I can show you how to do this. You're going to want one color band to go down the back, and then you're going to use another color band for your, your main color. I'm going to use the same colors just so you can see what part of the bracelet I'm making. And also, um, I was thinking this would make an awesome necklace, so I am going to also do a video on that for you to show you. So it looks like it would just look awesome hanging around your neck. Okay, so to get started with this bracelet, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a band and put it over the middle two times twist it and then put it over the end so it's over the middle two and the end show you it from the top so you can see it and twist it in between your next band is going to go over the same place the middle two twist it and put it over the other end so we're always working from these two for this as we put these bands on. Third one, go over the same middle two. Sorry, my camera has gone blurry a little bit. And then it's going to go back. There we go. So it's over these two middle ones, and then it's going over the back one here. The next one is going to go over the same two middle ones, twisted, and over the back one here. Twist it to the back here and then twist it to the back here. So I'm stacking everything in the middle first and taking it to where I'm twisting it to. And the last one isn't getting twisted, it's just going from these two middle ones straight back to these two middle ones. Okay, so that's how we're starting everything. This is how it's going to look in the front. It looks all piled up. And this is how it's going to look in the back. Once you have all those on, I'm going to show you how to start pulling it over. If you aren't sure how I did that, go back and watch this again. But now we're ready to start piling. Okay, okay. from here, now I've got the front and the back all set and ready to pull over. From here, I'm going to start pulling over. And I'm going to start, on this side, what I'm going to pull over is I'm going to pull over all these middle ones all the ones that are underneath the blue. The blue stays on and everything underneath it is getting pulled over. I start with the first ones under it and work my way down. And I'm pulling them over both of the times. And that's all you're going to do for your first step here. And that's it on this side. Okay, then you're going to turn to this side. You're going to get this blue, take it off, and pull it straight back, and put it on this side. Now you're ready for your next row. Next row, you're going to put one on here, cross all three of these. And then you're going to put one here across all three of these times. The next one is going to go on the middle two, back to the left corner. Then you're going to put it on your middle two and go back to your right corner. Okay. 
I apologize for the blurriness. I'm still getting used to this camera because it's a new one, I'm so I'm getting used to the adjustments. The next one you're putting on is your, your alternate color and that's gonna go over the two on this side in the middle and then back to the two on this side in the middle. Now you're ready to start pulling things over. You're starting with your middle ones. Again, the only thing that isn't getting pulled over is your top one. And you're going to start right, under, right underneath the top. Just do a couple at a time. You don't have to have a hook. I use a hook just to keep my hands out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. So I pulled everything that was underneath that blue, the blue stays. Over here, I am going to use my fingers just to, I'm pulling the, the one underneath over top of here. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, one underneath over top. And then on this side, same thing, the one underneath over top. And the one underneath over top. Then I'm going to take this middle one straight back and put it on both tines on the other side. Now I'm ready to do the next row. The bowl goes on these three and then it goes on these three and then it goes on the middle two to the left corner and the middle two to the right corner. Then I'm going to put on my alternate color. Now I'm using blue for that. It's two in the middle and then back to two in the middle. Then I'm going to start pulling over. And I'm pulling over everything that's underneath my top alternate color. Starting with the two directly underneath. Pull them up and over and just work my way down pulling them over. So my next two are these two gold ones. And then these two blue ones. Now I'm going to pull the ends up and over. I'm going to turn the other side, pull the ends up and over. And then I'm going to take this middle one and lift it straight back to the other side and put it over the two tines on the other side, making sure I get it over both of them. And now I'm ready for my next level, my next row. Put it on the three tines on the left. Now I put it on the three tines to the right. And I put it on the middle one and stretch it back to the back left. And then I put it on the middle one, stretch it back to the back right. Then I add my alternate color. Oops, that's not my alternate color. Add my alternate color and take it straight back to the back two tines. Now I'm ready to start pulling over. And I start in the middle and I'm pulling everything over the top alternate color. I'll start with my two yellows. Then I get my next two and pull them up and over. And then I've got my last two. So you see I'm doing two at a time for this. Then I'm going to pull the two ends up and over. They're just pulling one over one. I'm going to turn it around to the back and do the same thing, pull the ends up and over. Then I'm going to take my middle piece off the two and put them onto the two straight back from it. And turn it around. Now I think I've got enough here that I can push this outside and start pulling it out so the bracelet starts to show. And we'll pull down another row. First it's going to go on these three tines. On the left three tines. Then it's going to go on the right three. 
And then it's going to go in the middle too. Straight back to the left. Get on the middle two. Straight back to the right. Then we're going to get our alternate color. Put it in the middle and take it straight back to the back two in the middle. And we're ready to start pulling over. And I'm going to start with the first two yellows underneath and then get, go to the next two yellows that are underneath my blue. And then I'm going to get my last two blues and pull them over. Then I'm going to do my sides. turn it around and do my sides. And I'm going to take my middle, oh, so two times it's on, and put it on the two times on the other side, making sure I get it on both of them. Then I'm ready for my next level, or my next layer. So I'm putting it, my color on three times on the left, my color on the three times to the right, and then I'm going to put it on in the middle two times and stretch it back to the left, the middle two, and stretch it back to the right. And I'm going to put the alternate color on and stretch it back to the middle. Under these bands, they may be what part of what's affecting my focus. <laughs> Come here, band. Okay, now I'm ready to start pulling over. I'm starting with my two yellows. Oop. Then I'm going to get my next two yellows. I know I'm saying yellow, but it's going to be whatever color you're using. I'm going to get my last two colors. Then I'm going to do my sides. Then I'm going to get my middle. Take it off of this side. And take it straight back. And put it on the two times behind it. Then we're in the next row. And then three to the right. I don't know whether you hear that thunder, but we're, we're having a thunderstorm here. We've had some very loud cracks of thunder. So if my light goes at any point, it's because our electric has actually gone off a couple times. And then straight back to the right. And then the alternate color on the two times to the right and the two times to the back. And two times to the front and two times to the back. All right, and then we're ready to start pulling over. Start with the two colors right underneath. Pull them up and over. We get the next two. Come on, focus, Carolyn. That's better. And get the last two. And pull over your ends. Flip it over. Pull over your ends. And get your middle. And pull it straight back to the back times. And then you're ready for the next row. Okay, now that you're ready to finish it, what you're going to do is you're going to take them all 
and you're going to stack them all onto one pin and you're going to start with your collards so you can put them all on the uh, ones that you have the predominant color for the outside so you're going to put them all onto one time doesn't matter which one you use as long as you're not using the one that you're your color that you have the one line going up that's going to be the last one that you put on so it needs to be on top okay. that's on two that's okay then you're going to pull these up and over you can do it one at a time which is what I'm doing so I have that on two and these two can be where you're putting your are going to be where you're going to put your clip. So you just gonna, once you have them all stacked and you have it on those two, you're going to put your clip through these two. Make sure to put the clip onto those two before you take it off of the fork. Once you have them on the clip, you can take it off the fork. And you can hook your clip to the other end. I recommend you hook it to your color that's going up through. And both of them, not just one, make sure you hook it to two. And there you have it, my Galaxy bracelet. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And thank you for watching my tutorial. And please check out my other ones.